Now, a seven-member panel of the Supreme Court presided by Justice Jones Doche has overturned its earlier decision to disallow one of its own, Justice Clemens Onyenuga, from sitting as trial judge in the case involving the former Cocoa Bot CEO, Dr. Stephen Opuni, and businessman Seidu Agongo. According to the court, the initial allegations of compromise against Justice Onyenuga are unfounded. Meanwhile, the court has also dismissed claims of bias raised against Justice Jones Doche by lawyers of Dr. Opuni in its trial. The court said there's no compelling basis to impugn the integrity of the senior Supreme Court judge. Park with each other. Watson Court for Joy News, and here's his report read to you. On Tuesday, October 26, the Supreme Court was faced with two critical issues. The first, Attorney General Godfrey Dibu Adame was praying the Apex Court to set aside its earlier majority. from sitting as trial judge in the case involving Dr. Stephen Opuni and Seidu Agongo. The second issue was lawyers of Dr. Stephen Opuni challenging the neutrality of Justice Jones Doche to hear the review application filed by the Attorney General. At the start of proceedings, lawyers for Dr. Opuni raised an objection challenging the propriety of the Attorney General to argue in court. According to them, since the issue already the plaintiff in the review case, he should not be heard on the matter. The court upheld the objection and barred the Attorney General from making submissions before the bench. He was, however, represented by colleague lawyers who appeared with him in court. The court then proceeded to determine the two substantive issues accordingly. On the allegations of bias against Justice Jones Doche, the court presided by Justice Gabriel Poirman held that there was no substantial evidence to impugn the integrity of the senior Supreme Court judge to sit on the case. According to the three-member bench, even though Justice Jones Doche had a recent interaction with the Attorney General, there was no incriminating evidence to question his neutrality. The court subsequently dismissed the claims against Justice Doche. Having made this pronouncement, Justice Doche assumed his seat as the presiding judge in the review application by the Attorney General. In a ruling read by him, the court upheld the review application and cleared Justice Onyanuga to sit on the trial involving the former Cocoa Board CEO and businessman Seidu Agongo. Dr. Puni, Mr. Agongo, and Agricult Ghana Company Limited are facing 27 charges of willfully causing financial loss of 217 million Ghana cities to the state through separate fertilizer supply contracts between 2014 and 2016.